week's lesson has to do with the Islamic empires, basically. The Ottoman Empire uh, centered in Turkey. The Safavid Empire centered in modern-day Iran or Persia. And the Mughal Empire, which is centered in areas of Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, and so forth. Uh, this week's presentation, uh, this week's recorded lecture, I've made shorter, very concise, and there's some test answers in there, uh, I assure you. Uh, this week we have a test. Um, the test is, um, it has a 85-minute time limit. Um, the test has two short essay identification questions, and then the rest of the test is multiple choice, true, false, and maybe a couple fill in the blanks. Um, the test deals with the major topics that we've dealt with in the class so far, so through this week. So basically the topics that we'll be looking at for the test will be the Protestant Reformation, um, European exploration and the Columbian Exchange, and the Islamic empires. Um, I have a study guide posted for you. The test is drawn from that study guide. Use the study guide. I understand that in the chapters that are covered by the test, there's a lot of information in there. And we emphasize some stuff more than others, and that's just kind of the way it is. So the test really tries to emphasize uh, what we talk about in the discussion boards. Um, it tries to emphasize, um, I try to emphasize uh, the focus of the, of the recorded presentations and so forth. So watch the recorded presentations. Hopefully everybody has been, but use the study guide. More than anything, make sure you base your studying on the study guide. And that's going to be the way to really prepare you for this uh, for this test okay the test is due Sunday um, hopefully it won't be too bad if you use the study guide I think it'll be good and you'll notice after you take it that there's a lot of things that we talked about in the discussion board things that were posted in the discussion board um, you know major themes in the course so I think uh, you know if you've been following the class you should have really no no concerns but make sure you study and prepare and get the test done by, you know, I would I would plan to do the test on like Saturday, if that would be me. I would study all day and then I would do the test on Saturday. Um, but so make sure you prepare and give yourself time to be as ready as you can for the test. The uh, factoid for this week is this. The, um, and hint, hint, this is on the test. Um, so there you go, free, here's a, here's a test answer. Um, the fact for this week is the Islamic empires, particularly the Mughal and the Ottoman Empire, are sometimes referred to by scholars as the gunpowder empires because they were uh, one of the earliest and most cutting-edge um, empires to use gunpowder technology. It's very difficult to know exactly who invented gunpowder technology like firearms, um, but the Mughal and the Ottoman empires were at the forefront of the usage of these technologies. The thing over time that really separates um, you know, Europe from the Ottoman and the Mughal is not simply the presence of gunpowder weapons, but rather how Europeans are able to advance those technologies uh, over time. So the Mughal and the Ottoman are known as the gunpowder empires because of their usage of firearms uh, the Mughal dynasty particularly uh, constructed some of the largest early era cannons, and they even they even constructed um, firearms that effectively were multi-barrel guns that fired like multi-shots. Um, so um, technologically, um, empires like the Mughal and the Ottoman, these Islamic empires, they're not Arab. Okay, these empires are connected to Turkish. Influence and also in the case of the Mughal, not just Turkish but also Mongolian influence. Um, these empires are technologically advanced and they are at the forefront of the development of gunpowder technology in the 1400s, 1500s, and 1600s. Let's have a um, let's have a great week and please let me know if you have any questions.